The History of the Coffee Machine Introduction Coffee has been a beloved beverage for centuries, and the journey of brewing it has been nothing short of fascinating. In this exploration of the history of the coffee machine, we delve into the ingenuity, innovation, and evolution that have shaped the devices we use today to brew the perfect cup of coffee. From the early attempts in the 18th century to the cutting-edge smart coffee machines of the present day, this journey through time reveals the remarkable story of how humans have continually sought to make their daily brew more convenient, flavorful, and enjoyable. Early Attempts, Late 1700s Early 1800s During the late 1700s and early 1800s, inventors and innovators began exploring the concept of creating machines to automate the coffee-making process. This period marked the early attempts at mechanizing coffee preparation, and it laid the groundwork for the development of more advanced coffee machines in the future. Honoré de Balzac's Coffee Biggin, late 18th century One of the notable inventions during this time was the Coffee Biggin, created by Honoré de Balzac, a Frenchman. The Coffee Biggin was a two-level metal pot designed to simplify the coffee brewing process. It employed a percolation method, where water would pass through the coffee grounds multiple times to extract flavor. While this was an early step toward mechanized coffee brewing, the coffee biggin did not become widely popular or influential. Jean-Baptiste de Belloy's drip brew device, early 1800s Another important development was the work of Jean-Baptiste de Belloy, a Parisian metalworker. He invented an early drip brew coffee maker during the Napoleonic era. This device allowed hot water to drip over coffee grounds, collecting the brewed coffee in a pot beneath. It was an attempt to create a more efficient and automated way to brew coffee, especially for large groups like the French army. However, like Balzac's Coffee Biggin, Belloy's invention did not gain widespread popularity or commercial success at the time. Napoleon's Influence, Early 1800s Napoleon Bonaparte's influence during the early 1800s played a significant role in the development of coffee-making devices, particularly in the context of serving the French army. Here's a more detailed explanation of this period. Military demand for efficient coffee brewing During the early 19th century, Napoleon's armies were on the move across Europe. His soldiers required a reliable and efficient way to brew coffee while in the field. Coffee was a crucial beverage for soldiers, providing them with energy and warmth, and it was considered an essential part of their rations. Jean-Baptiste de Belloy's contribution Jean-Baptiste de Belloy, a Parisian metalworker and soldier during the Napoleonic era, saw the need for a more efficient method of brewing coffee for the French army. In response, he designed and created an early coffee-making device that used a drip brew method. This method involved allowing hot water to drip over coffee grounds, collecting the brewed coffee in a pot beneath. Belloy's invention was intended to simplify and speed up the coffee brewing process for the army's large-scale needs. The role of French soldiers, the French soldiers themselves played a significant role in popularizing coffee during this period. They carried coffee beans and portable brewing equipment in their packs, making coffee a staple of their daily routine. The soldiers' enthusiasm for coffee contributed to its spread throughout Europe. Legacy of Napoleon's Influence While Jean-Baptiste de Belloy's invention didn't lead to a widespread commercial coffee machine industry at the time, it was a practical solution for the specific needs of the French army. Napoleon's influence, combined with the soldiers' demand for coffee, helped reinforce coffee's importance and cemented its status as an essential beverage. Espresso Machine, Late 1800s The late 1800s marked a crucial turning point in the history of coffee machines with the invention of the espresso machine. Here's a more detailed explanation of this period. Invention of the espresso machine, in 1884, Angelo Moriando, an Italian inventor from Turin, received a patent for what is widely considered the first known espresso machine. Moriando's machine used a combination of steam and pressure to brew coffee quickly. It had several key features that distinguished it from previous coffee-making devices. Steam power, Moriando's machine used steam as a means to create pressure. Steam was generated in a boiler and then forced through a container filled with coffee grounds. The high-pressure steam extracted the coffee flavors rapidly. Single Shot Moriando's invention was designed to brew a single shot of espresso at a time. This concept laid the foundation for the espresso's concentrated and intense flavor profile, which remains a hallmark of espresso to this day. 
limited commercial success, while Angelo Moriando's espresso machine was a notable innovation, it did not immediately achieve widespread commercial success. In part, this was because the concept of espresso was relatively novel at the time, and the machine's capabilities were not fully realized in terms of coffee quality. Continued refinement. Following Moriando's invention, others in Italy continued to refine and improve the espresso machine. Luigi Bezzera, another Italian inventor, made significant contributions by patenting enhancements in 1901. Bezzer's improvements included the addition of a pressure release valve and a way to control the flow of water. These innovations led to more consistent and controlled espresso extraction. Foundation for Italian Espresso Culture The late 1800s and early 1900s in Italy marked the establishment of coffeehouses and cafes where espresso was served. The development of the espresso machine, along with the emergence of cafe culture, contributed to the Italian passion for espresso. Global spread, over time, the concept of espresso and the espresso machine spread beyond Italy. Espresso became an integral part of coffee culture in many countries, with cafes serving this concentrated coffee style using various types of espresso machines. Modern espresso machines, today, espresso machines have evolved significantly from Moriando's original design. They come in various types, including manual lever machines, semi-automatic machines, and fully automatic machines. These machines offer precise control over the brewing process, allowing baristas and coffee enthusiasts to create a wide range of espresso-based beverages, from the classic shot of espresso to lattes and cappuccinos. La Pavoni and Commercial Espresso, Early 1900s the early 1900s marked a significant period in the history of espresso machines, with the emergence of La Pavoni and the commercialization of espresso. Here's a more detailed explanation of this era. La Pavoni and Luigi Bezzera's innovations. In 1901, Luigi Bezzera, an Italian inventor, made important improvements to the espresso machine, and these innovations laid the foundation for the commercialization of espresso. Bezzera added a pressure release valve and a way to control the flow of water, both of which enhanced the quality and consistency of espresso brewing. Foundation of La Pavoni, Luigi Bezzera's innovations didn't go unnoticed, and they attracted the attention of Desiderio Pavoni, a Milanese entrepreneur. In 1902, Pavoni purchased Bezzera's patent and founded La Pavoni, a company dedicated to manufacturing and selling espresso machines. La Pavoni's machines incorporated Bezzera's improvements and were among the first commercial espresso machines on the market. Commercial espresso machines, with the establishment of La Pavoni and the production of commercial espresso machines, the world of coffee was forever changed. These machines were designed to meet the needs of coffee shops, cafes, and restaurants, allowing them to serve high-quality espresso to a broader audience. The key characteristics of these early commercial espresso machines included High pressure, Bezzer's improvements, especially the pressure release valve, allowed for the creation of high pressure steam, which was essential for extracting espresso's rich flavors quickly. Multiple shots, unlike earlier espresso machines that produced single shots, commercial machines, including those made by La Pavoni, had the capacity to produce multiple shots of espresso in succession. This efficiency was essential for businesses serving espresso to a large number of customers. Steam wand, many early commercial espresso machines were equipped with steam wands, which enabled baristas to froth milk for cappuccinos and lattes, expanding the range of espresso-based beverages that could be offered. Spread of espresso culture, the availability of commercial espresso machines and the growth of espresso culture in Italy contributed to the proliferation of espresso bars and cafes throughout the country. These establishments became social hubs where people gathered to enjoy espresso and engage in conversation. Global influence, over time, Italian immigrants and coffee enthusiasts introduced espresso culture and commercial espresso machines to other parts of the world. Espresso bars and cafes became popular in major cities across Europe and eventually in the United States and beyond. Automatic drip coffee makers, mid-20th century. The mid-20th century witnessed a significant development in the history of coffee makers with the introduction of automatic drip coffee makers. Here's a more detailed explanation of this period. Predecessors to automatic drip coffee makers Before the advent of automatic drip coffee makers, there were various coffee brewing methods, including percolators and manual pour-over systems. 
These methods required more active involvement from the user and often resulted in inconsistent brews. Melita Bentz's invention, 1908 While automatic drip coffee makers didn't gain prominence until the mid-20th century, the groundwork was laid earlier by inventors like Melita Bentz. In 1908, Bentz, a German housewife, patented a coffee filter system that involved placing coffee grounds in a paper filter and pouring hot water over them. This innovation improved the taste and convenience of brewed coffee, setting the stage for automatic drip coffee makers. Automated brewing process, the mid-20th century brought about the development of coffee machines that automated the brewing process. These machines were designed to make coffee preparation more convenient and consistent. Key features of automatic drip coffee makers included Water reservoir, these machines had a built-in water reservoir, which eliminated the need for users to manually pour water over the coffee grounds. Heating element, automatic drip coffee makers included a heating element that brought the water to the ideal brewing temperature, usually around 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 to 96 degrees Celsius. Drip mechanism, a drip mechanism allowed hot water to be evenly distributed over the coffee grounds, ensuring thorough extraction. Paper filters, most early automatic drip coffee makers used disposable paper filters, similar to Melita Bentz's invention. These filters helped improve the taste of the coffee by removing excess oils and grounds. Commercial availability, automatic drip coffee makers became commercially available in the mid-20th century, with brands like Bun, Mr. Coffee, and Braun introducing popular models. These machines quickly gained popularity in homes, offices, and diners because of their ease of use and the consistently good coffee they produced. Convenience and popularity, the convenience of automatic drip coffee makers made them a household staple. Users simply had to add coffee grounds, water, and a filter, and the machine would take care of the rest. This convenience factor contributed significantly to the rise of home coffee brewing in the mid-20th century. Modern advancements, automatic drip coffee makers have continued to evolve. Today's models may include features like programmable timers, adjustable brew strength settings, and even built-in grinders. The advent of single-serve coffee makers, like Keurig machines, has also expanded the options available to coffee lovers. Modern espresso machines, late 20th century, present. The evolution of espresso machines from the late 20th century to the present day has been marked by technological advancements, increased variety, and improved user convenience. Here's a more detailed explanation of this period. Semi-automatic espresso machines, in the late 20th century, semi-automatic espresso machines gained popularity. These machines offered more control to the barista while still automating some aspects of the brewing process. Key features of semi-automatic machines include Manual portafilter Semi-automatic machines typically use a manual portafilter, allowing the barista to control factors like grind size, tamping pressure, and extraction time. Pump system Instead of relying solely on steam pressure, Semi-automatic machines often use an electric pump to generate consistent and adjustable water pressure. Steam wand, these machines typically have a steam wand for frothing milk, making it easier to create espresso-based beverages like lattes and cappuccinos. Fully automatic and super-automatic espresso machines, as technology advanced, fully automatic and super-automatic espresso machines emerged. These machines offer varying degrees of automation, from grinding coffee beans to producing a finished espresso. Key features include Built-in grinders, many modern espresso machines come with built-in grinders, allowing users to grind fresh coffee beans for each shot of espresso. Programmability, users can often program the machine to their preferred settings, including the size and strength of the shot and the milk frothing process. One-touch operation, super-automatic machines can prepare a range of espresso-based beverages with a single touch of a button, from espresso shots to lattes and more. Maintenance alerts, some machines feature self-cleaning and maintenance reminders to ensure optimal performance and longevity. Specialty espresso machines, in recent years, there has been a surge in specialty espresso machines designed for coffee enthusiasts and professionals. These machines offer advanced features such as Pressure profiling, some high-end machines allow users to control and vary the pressure during the extraction process, enabling precise flavor manipulation. 
Temperature control, advanced espresso machines offer precise temperature control, crucial for achieving ideal extraction. Connectivity, some espresso machines now have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity, enabling users to control and program the machine remotely through smartphone apps. Sustainability, modern espresso machines also address environmental concerns with features like energy-saving modes, eco-friendly materials, and recyclable components. Barista culture, the late 20th century and beyond have seen the rise of barista culture, with coffee shops and cafes around the world focusing on artisanal coffee preparation. As a result, espresso machines have become highly specialized and refined, catering to the demands of skilled baristas and coffee aficionados. Single-serve coffee makers, 2000s, present. The period from the 2000s to the present day has been marked by the rapid rise and continued popularity of single-serve coffee makers, which have revolutionized the way people brew and enjoy coffee. Here's a more detailed explanation of this era. Introduction of single-serve coffee makers, single-serve coffee makers, also known as single-cup or pod coffee makers, were introduced in the early 2000s. These machines were designed to simplify and streamline the coffee brewing process, offering convenience and consistency. Coffee pods and capsules, the hallmark of single-serve coffee makers is the use of prepackaged coffee pods or capsules. These are small, sealed containers filled with coffee grounds that are designed to be used for a single serving of coffee. Major brands like Keurig and Nespresso popularize this concept. Ease of use, single-serve coffee makers are known for their simplicity. Users insert a coffee pod into the machine, press a button, and within a minute or so, a fresh cup of coffee is brewed. There's no need to measure coffee grounds, grind beans, or deal with messy filters. Variety of beverages, in addition to standard coffee, single-serve machines can brew a wide range of beverages, including espresso, cappuccino, latte, hot chocolate, and tea, depending on the type of pods or capsules used. This versatility has broadened the appeal of these machines. Customization, many single-serve machines offer options for brew strength, cup size, and even temperature settings, allowing users to tailor their coffee to their preferences. Waste and environmental concerns, the convenience of single-serve machines has led to concerns about the environmental impact of coffee pods, which are often not easily recyclable. Some manufacturers have addressed this by introducing recyclable or reusable pod options. Market growth, the popularity of single-serve coffee makers has led to a booming market for coffee pods and capsules. Various coffee companies and brands now produce a wide range of flavors and coffee profiles to cater to diverse tastes. Competition and innovation, the success of single-serve coffee makers has spurred innovation and competition in the industry. Manufacturers continually introduce new features and improvements to their machines to capture market share. Integration of technology, many modern single-serve machines come equipped with technology like Wi-Fi and smartphone apps, allowing users to customize and control their coffee brewing remotely. Some machines also feature touchscreens and automated milk frothers. Market segmentation, the single-serve coffee market has diversified, offering different machine types for various consumer needs. For example, some machines are designed for home use, while others are built for commercial settings like offices and hotels. Smart coffee machines, present. Smart coffee machines represent the latest evolution in the world of coffee makers, integrating modern technology to offer enhanced convenience, customization, and control over the coffee brewing process. Here's a more detailed explanation of smart coffee machines in the present day. Integration of connectivity, smart coffee machines are designed to connect to the internet and often come equipped with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capabilities. This connectivity allows the coffee maker to communicate with other devices, such as smartphones, tablets, and even voice assistants like Amazon's Alexa or Google Assistant. Remote control, one of the primary benefits of smart coffee machines is the ability to control the brewing process remotely. Users can use a dedicated smartphone app or voice commands to start brewing, adjust settings, and monitor the progress from anywhere in their home. Customized brewing profiles, smart coffee machines often provide the option to create and save customized brewing profiles. Users can fine-tune factors like water temperature, brew time, coffee strength, and cup size to suit their preferences. 
These profiles can be easily accessed and replicated with a few taps on the app. Scheduling and automation, users can schedule brew times in advance, ensuring that their coffee is ready when they wake up or arrive home. Some smart coffee makers even have features like pre-warming cups or auto-start brewing after detecting the user's smartphone in proximity. Voice commands, with voice assistant integration, users can simply tell their smart coffee machine to start brewing or adjust settings using voice commands. This hands-free operation is particularly convenient in the morning rush. Coffee recipes and recommendations, many smart coffee machines come with a library of coffee recipes and recommendations. Users can explore different brewing methods, coffee types, and flavor profiles, often with guidance from the app or voice assistant. Maintenance and alerts, smart coffee machines can monitor their own health and send maintenance alerts to users when it's time for descaling, cleaning, or other maintenance tasks. This ensures the machine remains in good working condition. Energy efficiency, some smart coffee makers have energy saving modes that can be controlled through the app. Users can program the machine to turn off automatically or enter a power-saving mode during specific hours. User data and analytics, smart coffee machines may collect data on usage patterns and preferences. This data can help users discover their favorite coffee profiles and optimize their brewing methods over time. Integration with other smart home devices, smart coffee machines can be integrated into broader smart home ecosystems. For example, they can be synchronized with smart lights or thermostats to create customized morning routines. Conclusion The history of the coffee machine is a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring love for coffee. From simple early designs to sophisticated machines of today, the quest for the perfect cup of coffee continues to drive innovation in coffee-making technology.